Let my heart be changed Renewed Flowing from the grace That I found to you Lord we come to you to experience the power of your love hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. we bless you Lord we thank you we worship you Lord we adore you we come to you Lord to surrender our lives to you we come to you Lord to open our hearts to you we find weaknesses in us we will heal us and forgive us and deliver us hallelujah hallelujah praise you Jesus thank you Lord praise you Jesus most of our life we spent meaninglessly doing a lot of things saying a lot of words fighting with each other dreaming unholy dreams we just spent most of our time we spent being busy with the business of living and soon our hearts get burdened we find everything dark and meaningless and that's what a life had been now lord in this hour you are drawing us you are drawing us into your presence it is because only because you have drawn us into your presence that we are here in your presence oh god we are here and we want to get the mystery of our life revealed to us we want to get the meaning of our life clear to us we want to know why we are living we want to know What's our destiny? Send your Holy Spirit during this hour that you may be able to reveal your plan for us, that we may be able to accept your plan, Lord, for this gracious hour, this hour of mercy and compassion. We praise you, Lord Jesus. We thank you. We glorify you, O Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. opening our hearts to God's mercy let us begin this chaplet of divine mercy you expired lord jesus for the source of life gushed forth for souls and the ocean of mercy upon up for the whole world o font of life unfathomable divine mercy envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us o blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of jesus as a font of mercy for us 
I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In this precious hour, we want to contemplate the mystery of our life, the meaning of everything happening to us, as revealed to us in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 9, verses 30 to 37. He was teaching his disciples and telling them son of man is to be handed over to men and they will kill him and three days after his death he will rise but they did not understand the say and they were afraid to question him they came to Kavana and once inside the house he began to ask them what were you arguing about on the way but they remained silent they had been discussing among themselves on the way who was the greatest then he sat down called the twelve and said to them if anyone wishes to be first he shall be the last to fall and the servant of all taking a child he placed it in their midst and putting his arms around it, he said to them, Whoever receives one child as this in my name receives me. And whoever receives me receives not me, but the one who sent to me. Lord, you are revealing to us the great mystery of the cross, mystery of our salvation. We want to understand this mystery in your presence. Looking at the Holy Eucharist, your body you offered to be wounded for our salvation. In this first mystery, we want to contemplate the prophecy and the promise Jesus gave in the beginning. The Son of Man will be handed over and will be crucified but will rise again on the third day. It was a promise that he will hand himself over to be crucified for our salvation. We have confidence in him. He will not let us be lost. That promise the Lord is giving us today. He will take the 
cross he will offer himself to be crucified and we will be saved and we will never be lost thanking and praising the lord for his great act of salvation let's pray this first decade eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful to the heart of a person who finds the workplace so unbearable impossible to go forward the lord is telling that person be courageous this message is for him for a couple who almost decide to separate this message joshua chapter 1 verse 9 be strong and courageous do not tremble or be dismayed for the lord your god is with you wherever you go hallelujah 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 praise you jesus thank, thank you lord, you, lord. Hallelujah 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 praise you Jesus thank you Lord hallelujah hallelujah praise you Jesus thank you Lord praise you Jesus thank you Lord thank you for your praise you Jesus thank you Lord for your presence someone in business almost imagining the business will break and he will have no future this message is for him be strong and courageous i'm there with you 
I'm there with you for a very young couple who just entered into marriage but now finding everything contrary to their expectations and questioning why is this happening to us the lord is giving this message be courageous do not tremble do not doubt i'm with you jesse tina henry janet whatever unfavorable situation you find yourself be sure you have a savior a savior always there for you a soul tell jesus there's none like you oh god there's none like you there's no love like yours there's no presence as strong as yours no one can de- we depend on as we depend on you there is no Search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Your mercy flows like a river, and He. Suffering tear on my safe in your arms There is none like you There is none like you No one else can touch my heart like you do Could search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. Praise you, praise you, Lord Jesus. There's Thank none you, like Jesus. you. You are God with us. You are God for us. You are God, Emmanuel, always. with us hallelujah hallelujah praise you jesus thank you lord thank you hallelujah hallelujah praise you jesus thank you lord jesus hallelujah praise you jesus thank you lord bless you praise you hallelujah thank you lord thank you jesus the gospel tells us while jesus was predicting his passion the apostles were busy are going among each other who is the greatest among them ambition to be greater than the other ambition arrogance to dominate others human behavior they were concerned about themselves becoming greater than others when jesus was concerned about giving his life for our salvation in our past we have always been concerned about our own position and power our own abilities our own wealth our own future our own security just my own our own lord i never turn to you i was so preoccupied with my situations with my cares i did not turn my heart to you and therefore i became so worried I became so sinful I became so self-centered offering every such moment to you lord we pray the second decade eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity 
of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, <laughs> in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 26 is given to every one of us as a message as a promise a new heart I will give you a new spirit I will put within you I will take away the stony heart I will give you a heart of flesh Lord that is what I need. Savior, Joseph, Gerard, Wilma, look at Jesus. Everyone look at Jesus. The Lord is promising you a new heart I will give you. A new spirit, Lord, my heart is stored. I'm not able to pray. I'm not able to forgive. I'm not able to be gentle. I'm not able to be kind to others. My heart is hard, stony. Change my heart and give me your heart, O oh Lord. I want a healing. A healing of my heart, O oh Lord. A healing of my body because I am sick. I'm not able to work out my salvation. I slip into despair. I'm not able to care for my family. I'm all the time upset. Lord, I need a healing. Your healing touch. You are the one I pray. 
one I praise. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved. Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. For you. Are the one I trust. I trust for my healing. You are the one I trust for my forgiveness, for my deliverance, for my salvation. You are the one I trust. Jesus, we trust in you. Let your mercy descend, O oh God. The power of your mercy descend upon every sick person, everyone suffering from the coronavirus. Lord, let your mercy descend upon everyone having a problem of the stomach, everyone suffering from a heart ailment, everyone suffering from the kidney problem. Lord, heal them. Thank you, Lord, for healing them. Everyone suffering from despair and depression, have mercy on them, O oh God. We need a healing from you, O oh God. We need a healing from you. We trust in your mercy, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise, Praise you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Father. In this third decade, we want to learn the lesson of becoming humble, becoming a servant for others. giving our life to others more than holding on to my life and my abilities and my wealth let my life go in service of others let's pray this decade eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful See on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion how much on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the
the sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole Benny, Michael, Ranil, Ajish, this message is given to you. Given to every one of us. Every one of us who repents over our arrogance, our pride. From the first letter of Peter, chapter 5. Verses 6 and 7, Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that He may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon Him for He cares for you. Everyone depressed, listen to this. Everyone anxious, listen to the word. He cares for you. Cast all your anxieties upon Him. For he cares for you. There is surrender. Our anxieties. Let's place our life in the hands of God. For a long time we thought we could live a life according to our plan. And that's when we failed. That's when life became meaningless. That's when the joy of living was drained off. Now we surrender. The Lord said, become a servant for others. Give your life. We will be able to become servants of others only when we become servant of God. Lord, whatever I have is given to me by you, Lord. I have nothing you have not given me. And yet I held on to them as if I was the owner. I took all the credit not anymore. Jesus, I place my life, every breath of mine, every talent, all the money I have, my family, I place my life at your feet. I want to sing. I want to sing and celebrate it. All to Jesus I surrender. All to Jesus and sisters this decade let it be a moment of asking pardon becoming humble before the Lord we have much to ask God's pardon for because 
in our pride and arrogance we hurt people we thought we could step on their shoulders crush them down and raise ourselves up because we have a pedestal in front of us that's where we want to be enthroned a pedestal of honor a wealth of power of position and in the process we hurt others a family relationships were strained a husband always wanting to be respected by the wife a wife always wanting to be appreciated by the husband children always wanting to be raised up by the parents always wanting to be better bigger higher greater than others as the apostles were our relationships are strained and we have hurt a lot of people the lord is reminding us of many such people we hurt we pray for them and a one prayer lord i wounded them you gave them to me i hurt them i justified myself that made them all the more hurt hurts become deeper i ask your pardon lord as pardon from everyone i crushed jesus asking for your mercy i pray this decade eternal father i offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful see on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful St. Paul tells us have this mind in you 
the mind of Jesus. He was in the form of God. But he did not consider it necessary to cling on to his divine glory. He came down becoming a servant, obedient even unto death. Have this mind. The Lord is giving us this message to every one of us. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 He was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. In fact, He offered Himself to be pierced and crushed that we may be saved. And this, men, this mind, this mind shall be in us and let every husband hear this every wife hear this every teacher every doctor every leader hear this let every one of us hear this and every brother every sister hear this this is the relationship becoming smaller than the other at the service of the other forgetting myself robert gwen canted uh, lawrence we will all take this message and the Lord is healing us now healing us of all the foolishness of sin and selfishness of our past we want to sing together Lord I want to be just a little more close to you a little closer to you it's only when I'm close to you only when I live like you only when I have your mind that my life will be heavenly. Let me understand this, Lord. All the misery of my life, all the hatred of my life, all the unhappiness in my mind is due to this. My self-centered arrogance. Lord, I surrender it. I give it to you. I want to be a little closer with you, O oh God. Let us sing together. Just a closer walk with thee. Grant it, Jesus, if you please. pray this fifth decade waiting to be close to him waiting to feel his presence in us when we are close to him we will experience the radiance of his love of the joy in his heart of the peace in his heart flowing into us the Holy Spirit of Jesus waiting for a fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit asking for God's mercy let's pray this decade eternal father I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our Lord Jesus Christ an atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. 
Father, say of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Father, say of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Father, say of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Father, say of the sorrowful Mercy on us and on the whole world. Father, sake of the sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Father, sake of the sorrowful. on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of the sorrowful Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and, and on, on the, the whole world. world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on, and the, on the whole, whole world. world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Let your Holy Spirit descend. Upon your children, O oh God, as you promised, you would give us the Holy Spirit. There is so much of sorrow in our hearts. We need the joy of the Holy Spirit. There is so much of strain in our relationships. We need the love of your Holy Spirit. There is so much of distress in our families. We need the peace of the Holy Spirit. We become very arrogant in our behavior. We need the gentleness of the Holy Spirit. We are tempted and we slip and fall. We need the power of self-control of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come and fill your children. Let every sick person experience the power of the Holy Spirit descending upon him, upon her and healing. Thank you, Lord, for this moment. This moment of grace, Jesus, from the altar, from the altar, from a wounded side, the Holy Spirit is descending upon every one of us. Thank you, Lord. Praise Him. Praise Him for this moment of grace and joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Come and descend. Is it upon your children, Lord? We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us sing Tandumerko. 
worshipping the Lord and waiting for his blessing the blessing from the altar the blessing of the Lord filling us with the power and mercy of the Holy Spirit given them bread from heaven having in itself all delight let us pray lord jesus christ you gave us the holy eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death may our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the father and the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen, amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. 
Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.